the fake woodworker Jim here, just to let you know, even though I finished my pallet challenge entry, apparently it wasn't good enough, so I'm doing it again. Well, I'm doing a different one, but anyway, two. Bye. This store is my childhood. My grandfather bought it when I was two years old. And now 39 years later, I've been asked to make another one. Humbled by the task, my first step was to examine the joinery before deciding on an appropriate material for this build. Then I had to set aside the time to pull it apart. If only somebody would make a video about this. Ta-da! Then I spent some time making a template with the side profiles that I would use for later on. Despite my best efforts though, I still managed to stuff it up later. I set up a stop block and then I cut the leg pieces before joining them together with my dog's favourite tool. Do you like the biscuit joiner? Now is a good time to point out that I'm using this tool because I'm a fake woodworker and I can't do real things. After fake joining my pieces together, I set them outside to dry in the real South Australian sun. Can't take that. I flipped over my template, made some more measurements for the top, and then I had to set about finding some way to turn the rest of the palette into a top, which involved, well, planing. Lots and lots and lots of planing. And lots. some of the greatest woodworkers that I have ever seen on YouTube this year and I decided I would do my best to emulate them because that's the sincerest form of flattery and because I can't come up with my own ideas because I'm a fake woodworker not a real one. So that was going well until I had a problem. So I've done my best painter and cut everything into strips I'm just going to glue a big block of these together and then run it through the table saw. Uh, even it up, run it through the thickness planer, get it the uniform thickness. But I've only got one pipe clamp, and I really think this glue up would go better if I at least had two, and then I can use my regular clamp. So I'm not gluing this up tonight, we'll go out tomorrow and see if I can buy another pipe clamp, and then I'll have another go. And I did, I bought the cheapest pipe clamp that my local other hardware store had on a Sunday. Look at the way I'm spreading the glue different ways. I got really bored doing this part. I hope it works out well though. Nice jump cut there. And then to show that some of it was actually real, I had to include a shot of me putting it outside to dry. Look at that, isn't that nice? I then unclaimed my leg assemblies and then, oh look, sometime later I also unclaimed the top. Doesn't it look nice? Yeah, more planing. I had to plane the leg assemblies down just they were nice and flat. And then I could take them in, cut them to the right width uh, or height, depending on where you're from in the world. And also just evened up the tabletop and flattened it out in the planer. So sorry, that footage must be missing somewhere in the sands of time. I marked out where the dowel would go and drilled that hole with a force and a bit with my depth stop set. And in the stack shot, I didn't notice the mistake. I wonder if you'll notice it. I took my time to transfer the measurements from my template onto my work pieces, and then I had to look for something to make the radius, uh, which turned out to be a bucket lid. Interestingly, it wasn't until I started to add the radiuses and cut them that I realized my mistake. There's the bucket lid now. There's me going, yay, it fits. I used a jigsaw to cut out the profiles on the sides of the legs, but when it came to cutting out the bottom part, I thought blade deflection was my only issue, but then I came to discover the actual problem. Well, I stuffed up, didn't I? I'll show you how. I did not measure twice and cut once. I measured once and cut once, and I did not measure or read my measurements correctly. So now, being the fake woodworker, I'm going to try and fake fix it. Sanding, 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 sanding. So I'm going to radius the corners. I've got this nifty 3D printed router jig. Except, I have a router table. So, I'm going to trace around it, get your old jigsaw out, and try to make less of a meal of it than I did on the other corners. 
I need to warn you that I actually did study drama at one of the most prestigious drama colleges in the land. So what follows is amazing. straight holes, hashtag fake woodworker, I needed to use those to line up the holes that would go into the legs. So I could mark them and then drill them with my uh, cordless hand drill. Well, my cordless battery drill, I know, so that sort of brace a bit stuff. After some careful cutting and squeezing and squidging and shoving and, gosh, even some thwacking. I know, thwacking. The fake store was nearly done. It just needed the dowels cut off and to be sanded and finished, which you'll probably see, uh, well, you would have seen if I'd remembered to turn the camera on, fake woodworker. And the finished to Steve Ramsey spray lacquer. So there it is, old and new. Um, when you start designing something or when you make something, we always ask students to evaluate it based on what were they hoping to get out of it? What was going to be their mark of success? For me, was I going to be able to make something that could replicate this design out of a material that I had available? Yes. Did I do things that I had never done before? Absolutely. Did everything work out? No. There are absolutely problems with this store, um, but that's okay. I didn't ever say it was going to be perfect. Did I have to do, you know, would it have been better if I had better tools? Sure, but I have what I have. Part of what I need to learn is to get better with what I have. So rather than complain about not owning a bandsaw, what can I do differently with the jigsaw next time? Anyway, that's it from me. Here's the old stool, here's the new stool, here's the father-son stools, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this or at least got something out of it. But until then, keep your bananas where you can see them.